Shout out to Brown, Aaron Smith Jr. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on the legend and two big dogs in this fight game. We have the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fighter on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight world champion. Then we have Arthur Betterbe, who is the unified WBC and IBF light heavyweight world champion. And then we have Dimitri Bevel, who is the super WBA light heavyweight world champion. And both of those guys are Russian superstars. But Canelo Alvarez, everybody, like I said, we all know he's about to take on Dimitri Bevel for Bevel's Super WBA scrap at the light heavyweight division where Canelo once reigned as the WBO um, light heavyweight world champion before vacating the title and going back to 68. But now Canelo Alvarez is, is trying his luck again at the light heavyweight division, and this time he's taking on um, Bevel. But I'm going to tell you how it is. Canelo Alvarez wants to be the undisputed champion at the light heavyweight division. And the man that's standing in his way after he get past Bibble is Arthur Betterbeeb. Somebody who people think Canelo is afraid of, but Canelo Alvarez already let y'all know that he's coming for those scraps because he wanted to fight Arthur Betterbeeb before, but Betterbeeb team turned it down. They said he had something else in plan. Now, Canelo Alvarez, listen, man, he want to outdo himself every time he step inside that square circle. Every time he step inside that square circle, he wanted to be something bigger than what he just accomplished, fam. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And now he is going out the undisputed at the light heavyweight division, fam. And if he get past Bibble, this is the guy he got to face right here. This is the guy he has to face right here. Arthur better be one of the most dangerous, hardest punching fighters in the fucking game right now, bro. Just came off defending his titles against Marcus Brown. Ended up making Marcus Brown stop on one knee. Marcus Brown was on one knee begging for no more, fam. He was begging. Understand when I tell you, he was begging to stop the fight. He wanted no more of this man, Arthur Betterbeep, who was punishing his ass with all the hard powers and the shots that he was hitting his ass with, fam. Arthur Betterbeep is no joke. This motherfucker can fight, he can punch, and he's just dangerous. Undefeated, bro, from Russia. You can just see right here, he's hitting the target with the fucking jackhammer. That's not easy, bro. So he um, himself won a shot at Canelo Alvarez. And, you know, he's taking on Joe Smith in the unification bout. He has two titles. Joe Smith has a WO. And he want to have to grab the other title to make him, you know, hands down, you know, the, the toughest fighter at the division. But another fighter, like I said, is right here, Dimitri Bevel, a man that Canelo Alvarez has to get um, has to get past for him to go out there and become, uh, well, not even become, but to have a shot at what the better be. He has to get past this man right here and Dimitri Bevel, who is dangerous who is dangerous. Some people consider him the number one light heavyweight, even though he only holds on to one title. I think it's Arthur Betterbeep. I think he is, for sure, the most skillful fighter at the light heavyweight division in, in Dimitri Bevel, right? And he got an opportunity to do something um, very special if he can go out there and be the second man to defeat Canelo Alvarez in Canelo Alvarez's um, Hall of Fame career, bro. Or should I say legendary career. And, you know, Bevel was up for the challenge. He don't like the way people coming to him and make Canelo Alvarez seem like he's unbeatable, like he's this boxing god and things of that nature, and it's kind of getting to Bivol. But what Bivol has to understand is that's the pressure that come on your ass when you're facing the Canelo Alvarez. You don't just have to face Canelo Alvarez, homie. You have to face the fans. You have to, fa you have to face the media. You have to face the hype, right? And you're going to have to be ready for that night because that night is going to be one hell of a night. One hell of a night. But overall, everybody, Canelo Alvarez want to get through Bivol and you want to go out there and take on Arthur Betterbeep. A lot of people shit on Canelo Alvarez because he's facing Triple G after Dimitri Bivol. That's on the contract with the zone. The zone wanted Triple G in that contract for whatever reason. It's their business. They paid the man to fight him. Canelo obliged. He took the money and now he has to fight Triple G. And there's nothing else nobody can do about it. So if Canelo booked up for this year, all your favorite fighters and you go out there and find him something else to do. But other than that, Canelo Alvarez wants to do something better and greater. And what's better than greater than becoming undisputed at the light heavyweight division against a man that everybody said that you better stay away from, including the great Andre Ward, right? The great Andre Ward wanted Canelo to stay away from um, Dimitri Bivol as well. But you see Canelo stepping up to the plate. You see him stepping up to the plate because Canelo Alvarez wants to be great, fam. He wants to be great. 
And you got to understand, to be great, you have to be uncomfortable sometimes in that square circle. To be great, you got to go out there and face the best of the best. To be great, you got to go out there and fight the people that they say that you can't beat like he did with Triple G. Like he did with Laura. You understand what I'm saying? You got to go out there and face the people that they say you can't beat. And that's what Canelo Alvarez, what Canelo Alvarez wants to do. He want to fight the people that they say he can't beat, fam. Arthur Better Beaver is one of those guys. Everybody look at him, they just say, oh my God, he punches so fucking hard that nobody can stand his power. You understand? And Canelo Alvarez want that test. He want to show y'all that I can go up here and beat the best of the best, man. The best of the best. But when I do, I need y'all to give me my credit and my just do. I repeat, when I go out here and beat this man, I need y'all to give me my credit and my just do. Because first of all, I'm taking on Dimitri Bibble, who is a dangerous motherfucker at the light heavyweight division. You feel me? Then I'm going back down to face a man that can still punch in Triple G even though he's 40 years of age and people want to write him off. You think he don't see that? You think Triple G not going to come to the ring get in his best fucking shape going up against a man he faced twice already that he think he defeated twice already? Y'all think he's not going to bring his fucking A game? He's going to bring it. But when Canelo put his dick in the dirt and put him down and retire his ass, he's going up to face this man or the better be, bro. He's going up to face this man or the better be, bro. Right? That's the only thing Canelo's going to want because he's going to have one title and Better Beef's going to have three. Assuming Better Beef get past Joe Smith. And you think Canelo don't want that challenge? You think Canelo afraid to step up to the plate and fight that man knowing the legacy is on the line? Knowing that it's something that can set you apart and make you the greatest Mexican fighter of all time? And one of the greatest to ever lace him up? And y'all think Canelo's afraid of that shit? Y'all think he's afraid to take on that challenge? Well, y'all better think again, homie. Y'all better think again because that's exactly the route Canelo Alvarez is going. I repeat, that's exactly the route Canelo Alvarez is going. And not because y'all want it. Not because y'all think he can't win. But because he know what he can do. He know he can win that fight. He believe in his skill set. He believe in Eddie Reynoso game plan. And he believes that he's going to go in there he's going to get it done, fam. He's going to go in there he's going to get it done. You feel me? Because he know he put the hard work in. He don't leave no stones unturned. And he want that smoke. Canelo wants that smoke, fam. He want to show y'all boys that he the baddest motherfucker in this Boston game. You know what I mean? That he deserve all the credit that he's getting. You know what I'm saying? And that he's one of the motherfucking legends, man. He's one of the legends, fam. And there's nothing nobody can do about that. So Arthur better be. If you think you're safe... If you think Canelo Alvarez is not fit to uh, step up to the plate after he beat Dimitri Bivol and beat Triple G and that he ain't coming for you, you better think again, my friend. You better think again. Canelo is on his way, homie. He's on his way. You have something he won't. You standing in his destiny. Sorry, well, you standing in the way of his destiny. You understand? And Canelo ain't backing down from nobody, and he's not going to let nobody stop him from being great, bro. Nobody. Nobody. So everybody out there that's saying Arthur Better Beaver is this killer. He does gorilla. He deserve all his praises, right? He deserve all his praises. I give him his praises myself. But when Canelo Alvarez go out there and do what he got to do to that man, and he put that man down, and he take them three scraps from that man, I don't want no excuses, fam. None. Just give Canelo Alvarez his credit for being great and doing something even the great Andre Ward said he couldn't do. You understand what I'm saying? And not only that, he might reign at 168 and at 175 as the undisputed world champion. No other male fighter has done that. You feel me? So when I look at this situation, fam, Canelo Alvarez, I'm behind you 120%, bro. You can beat Arthur Better Beeb. You can beat Dimitri Bevel, and you're going to beat him. You're going to beat him. You're going to beat him. You understand what I'm saying? Step up to the plate, show these haters and these naysayers and these doubters wrong, bro. Let them know. Let them know why you're the baddest motherfucker in the game. Why you're the number one pound for pound king. And why you're going to be the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. And one of the greatest to ever lace him up. Because ain't no bitch in your blood. And it ain't a fight out there that you won't take, foul. Shouts out to Canelo Alvarez, man. He's going to give us a show on May 7th. He's going to give us a show in September. And he will be back in 2023 to become the undisputed champion at the light heavyweight division. Mark my words, foul. Mark my words. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate? OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. Yeah, I know how your boy get down, man.
Big Dog Status Family.